week. It's been so much can change in a week. And that's definitely been the case. So last week I shared with you guys how I felt like I was missing that edge just, just a wee bit. And you need that in order to compete. Well, you know what? I think just talking about it with you guys and a lot of you folks, uh, whether it be in the comment section or reaching out, being like, yo, Bert, you know, I've been there before. That helps a lot. So, you know, again, like being able to, whoever your confidant is, like they might not have the solutions for them. Who cares if they don't really? Sometimes just being able to voice that, uh, see acceptance on the other side, uh, not feel like a total weirdo. It's like, yeah, bro, I feel, yeah, you know, I've, I've been there before. That goes a long way. So with that said, we found that edge this week. Let's get right into it. So hack squat, something we've changed is... I think previously I was letting my lower back, my SI joint area kind of come off the pad. So this is an issue for a few reasons. I think first of all, to start, um, you know, we've seen say those power lifters who, you know, there's there's that spectrum of where's, what is neutral when they reach depth. It almost looks like a butt wink, but it really isn't. Look, a lot of folks can get away with that. They're fine. But based off the history of that area with me, I'm probably not one of those folks. So first and foremost to stay healthy secondly um it just kind of takes away what makes this movement the hack squat fantastic and that is that that whole upper hip area is just stabilized when i was doing that hack squat that that uh, uh free but not a free squat that smith machine squat last time uh well your butt's just kind of floating out in, in outer space but on this thing here and you're trying to balance it and make sure that it you know it's, it's even that it's right um trying to keep track of that 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 uh that, that thing back there but with this that's not the case it's stabilized which is not a bad thing and it also it pushes a lot of the load over to the quads so i'm like let's do that and when i am keeping my hip on the back of the pad that's about where my depth is so i might be able to actually get rid of that plate uh which would just be nice because the the it would be a little bit easier to just like find my grip on that versus that like rubber plate that I use. So, um, so yeah, quad days been have been going well though. Same thing on this thing. Um, this is this is just constantly getting better week after week. Um, I, you know what really gets me through these sets sometimes is literally just looking down at my quads and like seeing them like burst and explode. I know you got if you have you've probably done that at some point with like, with like curls right it's like in the mirror and you're like oh I just I look better and better as I go it's just like more stuff is popping out right um, same thing with this uh, but it's a painful one and this is definitely the most quad work I have done in quite a while so hopefully it pays off um, but more than anything man this day is just a lot of fun <laughs> and uh, and, and uh, you know, especially when you're going through a phase like what I was going through, look, I'm not gonna say I'm 100% cured because a week don't mean nothing. Just like a week when you're not all the way motivated don't mean a whole lot. Same thing when you're like, I think I found it. No, I've been humbled by the sport too many times. So I'll just keep proceeding and play with whatever's there. Um, but uh, but yeah, hey, look, the cut's starting to come in a little bit, like virtually every day below 190 pounds now. I like this body comp. It's looking all right. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, we throw in some calves here, and more than anything, again, like this is this is something that I've said so many times, and I think the reason people the people just don't listen to me is because my calves they look okay at best. But let me tell you, that was the one area where I'm like, well, I guess I'm glad that you know I, I don't have <laughs> that they they they're not super like high value on that stage. Um, you know what, but it wasn't until it was my pro debut, hung out with uh, a bodybuilder by the name of Ben Goins, terrific physique, legend in his own right. He's like one of like my biggest inspirations when it comes to just like finally like, let's go there with this conditioning. Um, seeing him walk around all over the place with his calves, everywhere he went, people were just like doing double takes. I'm like, I want me a pair of those, man. That would go real good with everything else we have going on. They'll never be quite like Ben's, but nevertheless, um, they've improved quite a bit. And the big thing is that pause at the bottom, not at the top, pause at the bottom, Achilles tendon, longest tendon in the human body. Let's, let's like not let it contribute as much as it, it, it can, because that's like what it's there for. 
Um, one of the reasons that we can like trot for like so long relative to other animals is, is just the fact that that thing stores a lot of energy and just bounces us away. So, um, hey, I'm trying to throw in little things here like in, in, in regards to like secrets, little things that we do, uh, that you do when you've been doing this long enough and you don't even realize you do that sometimes. So, um, Cynthia here, female, smaller, lighter. So I can grip myself pretty well um, and keep myself like push myself into that seat. But in her case, it helps a lot if I, a nice editing job, Bert, if I like push her down. So, hey, try it out. Try it out with a training partner you trust and you might like that. Um, man, these presses feeling good and I'm on a cut. So, what was it? It was four sets of eight with the 115s. And uh, I think that was the 115s, yeah. Yeah, yeah, 115s. Um, little thing that I am changing here. Um, especially my right shoulder. Um, I don't want to floor press just because getting it on you, right? Uh, it's just it's, that in itself is 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 quite the mess. But um, but I am shortening my range of motion just a wee bit, especially my right shoulder. Just uh, doesn't have as much flexibility, um, and uh, I do have a bone spur on this right side. Probably will never need surgery for it so long as like I'm careful and I make little modifications like this. Um, but uh, but nevertheless, look, it's, I think it just looks like almost everyone else. So it's a passable, like, uh, I think, uh, chest press with, with the dumbbells. And we forget, like, I think a lot of folks think, oh, yeah, dumbbells, more range of motion. And it's like, like uh, just this way going down. But it's like, no, it, it also has to do with, like, there's more range of motion in regards to the fact that you can really bring that humerus across your body. So it's not just about that last part. Uh, the bottom part what was that last part and it's also about you know being able to you know bring that arm across you can't do that with a barbell right um or or many machines um i am going through like what is like my yearly cycle of overhead pressing i don't do a whole lot in front of my delt quite beefy as is um but uh but it's fun it's new so i'm progressing on it like quite rapidly i think these were 65s and um and yeah, you know, just get this out the way and then replace it with something else uh, that, you know, has a little bit more to do with, like, the, the things I actually need. Probably another tricep movement on this push day. But uh, for now, um, this is it's just fun because it's new. And uh, just a little extra there. Just keep it okay uh, for, like, another, like, six, seven months. I usually don't do a whole lot of overhead pressing. But the way it's going right now, that might change just because... This is one of the movements that I've been looking forward to the most. We all have those movements over the course of the week. Um, oh, and here's another reason as to, like, why the motivation has been hitting me. So, man, you can see little stretch marks here, like, in the side of her, like, like shoulders, side, pec, side boob, if you will, uh, on Cynthia. And I was like, let me film this for you, because you are starting to get, like, those stretch marks from, like, just growth. Um, and, yeah, man, it's like young lifters when they're finally getting theirs like that motivates me so much because when i first started doing this like you know i, I didn't know a whole lot i'd see a freaking ronnie coleman and you know everyone's like you, you need you know vitamin s to get that big but you know back in my mind i was like nah that's i'm gonna be the exception you know if i keep growing at this rate new gains i'll get there it might take 12 15 years but i'll get there or somewhere close obviously eventually reality hits but nevertheless, man, there's something about having that uh, that no limit soldier um, uh, sort of perspective when you first start out, and that's honestly, to me, one of the things when it comes to um, yeah, when it comes to a lot of this like natty or not witch hunt is a lot of these dudes are just not giving them like themselves like that chance. Like like, like they are already like capping themselves out or 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 it's like man you you might have it in your cards to look i don't know like fucking mad ogus but uh, you know if if uh if someone looks like beyond a middle of the road like novice class body natural bodybuilder it's like they got to be on something you know so that's that's quite disappointing to hear to see to hear. and it's never really because maybe they're coming at me they're coming at one of my friends but it's more so like what is this doing to you man um anyhow that's 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 quite the topic to dive into um but yeah like this whole week man it was feeling good it was feeling so good it just I, again i think just talking about it 
um, was 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 huge. Look how thick we look, man. Look at that, like that glute, that ham, that arm. I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a little bit of props here, um, cause you know I'm still not light. I'm you know again again on stage at 160. This is 190. Uh, I'd love to be able to say I'm like three or four pounds heavier, which a lot of you guys are like, really, all that time for three to four pounds. And again, like I've said this before, I said this on my IG a, a few days ago, that there's an inverse like relationship with uh, how much muscle, um, better yet, here's the thing, like muscle rate slows down, I'm simplified. The gain, the rate at which you gain slows down significantly. But when you get to that struggle point, the amount of, I guess, character points that you, you get in return, um, how much better you get at critical thinking, at like not letting your own emotions like get in the way when it's inappropriate for them to play too big of a role in some sort of decision making. Like all that just grows so much. So it might be three-ish pounds, but you know, there was a lot of growing up up here that took place alongside that. So, um, so yeah. Um, Three pounds is a lot, man. Like literally, go, go, don't do it. But like, imagine like three pounds of a, uh, of just like chicken breast, just like you know, where you want it. Like that will totally change the way you look. The way you look. So anyhow, fantastic week. Felt like the version of me that I want to feel like. And um, and yeah, you know, again, this is still like my one thing every day that I do that's just like it's, it's my little W right even if I'm not feeling it 100% but um, it was that plus plus this week so anyhow so if anyone out there is kind of struggling with their stuff just know it happens to everyone it happens to the best of us hang in there keep doing your thing and uh, you know do things that will make it a little bit easier for the you of tomorrow and honestly at the end a lot of what bodybuilding is when you think about it, and that translates over to life. All right, peace, guys.